good morning everyone today i am going to teach you how to make sds plate chips so first we are going to set up the plates so for making any sds plate this is known as sds page caster and we need two different types of plate one is a thick plate and other one is a thick plate and we have to arrange this plate in this green stand so we fix this plate inside and close the clamps very tightly and place this in the caster inside the clip i'm going to repeat this process for the other one as well inside the caster so you have to make sure that there is no leakage here and this is extra tight and to confirm that we pour some water to check the leakage so while pipetting any solution or water in between the plates we have to make sure not to touch the tip to between the plates and you have to place the tip little above i'll mark the water level with a marker to check if there is any leakage the level of water will reduce over time and we'll wait for this it's been 15 minutes since we have poured water to check for leakage and after ensuring that there is no leakage we are going to pour out the water in a beaker make sure there is no water left inside the plates now the plates are set now we we'll make resolving gel so today i am making 2 6% dissolving gel the composition of 6% 12% and 10% gel varies and depends upon the molecular weight of your filter so starting with resolving gel first we'll add water Now, since I'm making two percent dissolving gel, I'll be adding five point three ml water. After adding water, I am adding one point five molar tris at pH eight point eight, and we'll add two point five ml of that. So this is one point five molar tris at pH eight point eight. The third composition is thirty percent acrylamide. I am using BioRite thirty percent acrylamide in twenty nine is to one solution, and we'll add two ml of acrylamide solution. The fourth composition is ten percent SDS, and we'll add hundred microliter of ten percent SDS for two gel. And next, we'll add APS, ten percent APS. The storage temperature of APS is uh, minus twenty. So just before adding, you can thaw it, and then add. And just like STL, we'll add hundred microliter of APS. And the last composition to add is TMED, which we'll add at last, just before pouring the jug. So now. I am adding ten microliter to you. I will close the falcon cap and invert mix it gently. And with help of one ml pipe it. I 
I'll pour the gel between the plates. One ml at a time. So we will not pour the gel up to the top. We will leave some space for the starting gel. And at last, we'll pour isopropanol, which will remove any top bubbles that are being formed on the top of resolving gel. And will also make the surface of resolving gel smooth and straight. Our resolving gel has already set. We can check that in the remaining buffer in the falcon. And now we will remove the isopropanol from top by using a Kimby. You have to make sure that no isopropanol is left behind. Dab it gently in the corner. And now we are going to pour starting gel. I have only made the starting gel. Only timid addition is left, which I am going to do now. For two gels, I have made almost 4 ml starting buffer. And in 4 ml, I am adding 10 microliter. Always make sure to add timid just before loading the I am trying not to load the stacking buffer to the brim. That might cause spillage afterwards. And now we place our comb. Two different sizes of comb comes to the setup. One is this 14 well and the other one is 10 well. I am using a 10 well comb and I am sliding the comb on top and then pushing it inside. That's it. Now we will wait for them to get set.